welcome back so we're gonna keep going <clears throat> so this is gonna be the next PVR this is gonna be a standalone next PVR piece uh, it's gonna utilize our HD home run so the other videos I've already done were HD home run Plex and getting live TV and Plex with TV guide and favorites and the channel logos so once you're all ready you go download Google download next PVR and you find the latest at this time 366 is the latest so let's run through the install and later I'm going to another video is going to use Cody with next PVR using the HD home run and recording TV so if you're following through it's just slow steps all right now this uses a different format for TV guide a lot of the a lot of the tutorials I found on setting up the TV guide were to use a different program to create the XML which actually goes out to Microsoft's website and grabs the TV info for recording that is what Microsoft's using for Windows Media Center and when Windows Media Center is done uh, the TV guide feature will stop and different things will stop so I decided not to go that route as the zap2 XML does not rely on Microsoft I like that a lot better so with it installed let's launch next PVR now here's all of our settings I get this DirectX runtime is not available I've installed it I still get this so for me I'm not gonna bother I like leaving the defaults here devices it's scanning now originally when I tested next PVR if you've been following each of these videos you'll hear when I first started I had many computers set up with different pieces this machine did not originally have HD home run software or anything so it seems like to me I'm not positive you need the HD home run view software installed that way it lays down the base configuration for other software to use I had the same thing when I had a Windows 7 box running Media Center and I may do a tutorial on that one because I still have that machine set aside so we'll see from here so as you notice it has the tuners um, see so you click one you can hit device setup and you can scan so we'll go ahead and do a scan found the channels you can you know you can select which ones you do or do not want Now if you click and you hit device setup, it'll allow you to just to copy them. So we'll do that. Actually it seems like it's taking longer than doing a scan on its own. So for this one we're gonna say no, let's do a scan. actually look at that that was a lot quicker so there we go all right okay, so well we're gonna go back into settings and look at what else is in here so channels we have all our channels recording where you want it to record and I'll tell you right now if you keep the default you're gonna need to create the temp folder now I had this run in here and I have a temp folder and you see I've been doing recordings during different tests I see uh, history channel alright so I'm going to delete those just have a nice clean slate to work with alright media folders just leaving them all alone for now decoders this is what gets tricky so this uses different codecs 
than what the HD Home Run uses. Now, the HD Home Run may use the codecs that I'll probably install to get this to work, which will, uh, I'm not worried about. I can, I'll have both of them. All right, let's look through. All right, so we're good for now. Let's hit OK. Uh, so here we go. Here's TV Guide info. Well, let's see if we have live TV first. Okay, we have live TV. I do not hear any audio. Now, before I go really looking into live audio, uh, let's first let's uh, let's see. I'm just gonna change channels here. I'm just using the arrow keys. Go to 803. High def CBS. Hit enter. And there we go. Now it may not look really great high def. I am streaming through um, Team Viewer. So now what I am curious is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to walk away, go out in my garage, and see if I have audio. If not, I know I need to adjust the codex. Be right back. Okay, so I went out there. I had no audio. Did a quick poke. Hit my drop down, LAV audio decoder. I chose that for all, all of them, and now I have audio. So let's actually take a look. You should be able to hear it from here. Let's go and find something. Let's go. Come on. Just using the scroll wheel. All right, so we'll go ABC. We'll hit watch. Purchased a ranch not too far go. from here in, in Malibu, and he loved to go there and ride his horse. So there we go. We have live TV, next PBR, standalone app, TV guide. So if you noticed back in settings, under channels, there is a update EPG. Now, if I remember correctly, you can choose, and it asks you where. So we'll choose, we will go wrong folder. All right, XML TV, it's nice because this is, and look, it actually took the channel. Hit OK. Now, normally, this would be painful because you have to do every single one. Hit OK. It should. Uh, last time I did this, it took over on its own. Let's see. Because this would take a while. How do I get it? All right, I don't know if you can... All right, we can choose multiples. Let's see if it'll let me... to update all right wait 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 let's do a bulk map no that's auto merge well I th oh, okay you know what I think it was in here come on all right so as you noticed doesn't take the correct channels. Let's see. This is well let's go back. So this one is Nick 2. Let's look. Now, I'm not sure which that comes out to Nick 2. Alright. Let me try this. I know I was in one of these options when it took over and said, would you like us to fill? And I said, yeah, there we go. Would you like the application to have a go at auto mapping? Yes. And it bounced back. It took over. Encore still blank. It's fine with me for now. All right. These ones are blank. I don't I'll have to worry about them later. Okay. 
So let's say OK. Let's hit OK. And can we go to TV Guide now? Let's update. the bigger, the more channels you have, the longer it's going to take to import. So I'll pause this till it continues. Alright, it only took about 25 seconds afterwards. Let's take a look. Hey, and look at that, it all snapped where we need it to be. So, looks good. We have stuff. Uh, the faculty. Yeah, nice. And there we go. See, you can. So that's it. There's not much to it. It's really nice having the TV guide handy. The TV guide is basically, if you followed the other, if you're following this in order, you'd have it by now. Recordings. Yeah, I don't know if you saw. You can go back to TV Guide, you can click, and you can either record once, give it the padding, alright, let's see what we got here, record season, new episodes, all episodes, daily, this time, weekly, this time, there's options here. So, let me see where I am. Alright, so eh, we're good here. So there's other options. It's all up to you what you want to do. There was some things I saw. You, you can, in a TV guide, you can set different colors for different things. Uh, sports, kids shows and whatnot. Alright, so I hope, uh, hope this was uh, easy for you. I hope it worked without issues. Of course, this follows into number one and number two, which was boring, I know. All right, so next we'll be doing Cody and Plex. Uh, sorry, Cody and, yeah, next PVR. All right, thank you.